Okay, so this is going to be the commentary for uh, S1E 2.9, which uh, I did because I still wasn't finished with the look episode. I just, I really put a lot of effort into it. I don't know if you can tell, you know, but I really spent some serious time uh, trying to get that right. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and start it. Uh, episode 2.9, The Hair, 3, 2, 1, go. So, Super hyper, hyper Special Happy Edition, which is me making a reference to how Street Fighter had a bunch of stupid things that would come out, like Hyper Edition, Super Edition, Turbo, all that stuff. So I was kind of making a reference to that. I like the opening because at one point I think I was recording uh, the intro for 3, and then when I realized that 3 was just not going to get done in time, I think I sort of went with this. And I like... I like this argument that we have because before this I don't think we really had a direct interaction, you know, me and Intro. And I think it's just really funny that, you know, he's he's giving me sass and he's he's an asshole. No, you're an asshole. Asshole. Oh yeah. Okay, so I also want to say that in this video some of the production quality looks a little bit weird because uh, I had a different computer and then it uh, took a shit on me, so I had to switch to another computer, which was using XP instead of 7, which I love Windows 7. Uh, and anyway, so I had to go back to a different version of Windows and a different software. And uh, it's funny, like even just during the first minute and 17 seconds here, uh, I can already see that I'm, I'm like learning how to use the software a little better. There's a little dot in the top top left. I don't know if you're going to see it again, but uh, at first I couldn't figure out how to get the captions to appear at the bottom. See, right, see the little dot right there above the mic? Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get the captions to appear at the bottom, and the only way I could trick it into doing it at the time um, was to sort of like have the the words tabbed down, like you know, you push enter, 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 or whatever to make more space. Oh, wow. Uh, Yeah, that was just totally random. As I was cutting my hair, and I was just like, well, I'm just, I'm just playing around. You know, I wouldn't really do this. And um, somehow she thinks it's a cool idea. So yeah, this, this is, again, a real story. I try to be as real as possible in the show. Uh, I definitely kind of put on a bit of persona, but I don't think it's so much that I'm acting as much as I'm sort of letting a different side of myself completely go free, you know. Um, you know, I, I, I just put more into what it is I'm trying to say, and I, I, I do sort of realize that I'm kind of on stage, you know, so I guess you could say this is my stage persona, you know. Uh, people that know me know that uh, Dominic Phoenix isn't my, you know, quote-unquote, like, legal name or whatever, but um, people that also know me very well know that it's something, that that name has meant something to me for a long time, and... I guess that's that's a a thing for a whole different thing. Oh well, here it comes right here. Boom! Wow. Yeah, I wore this for a little while. I mean, quite a little while. And my current job, I thought about going back to it, uh, but I just ended up cutting my hair. And yeah. And by the way, like I don't think I'm some sort of like super hot, sexy guy or anything like that. If if anything, it's kind of like irony. It's like, you know, instead of being like, uh, you know, I'm definitely not sexy or whatever, you know, I kind of just revel in what sexiness I may or may not have, um, because I think we should all feel sexy, right, you know what I'm saying, like, if you can, if you, if you can find it in yourself to, to, you know, put yourself out there like that, I guess, because no matter what you look like, somebody thinks you're sexy, so, I think I'm sexy, I guess, I don't know, this is a stupid topic, this is a stupid episode. Although I do like that. Oh, right here, you know, I cannot hear the music. Like, as I'm dancing, I can't hear the music. It just kind of syncs up a little bit. But I can't hear it. She eyes it. Introbot's personality is really weird because it's an aspect of my own personality, obviously. It can't help but be an aspect of my personality. Um, but I try to treat him like a character in a book. You know, like, when you're writing a book, you need 
to listen to the characters. You let you you imagine the characters, and then you imagine the situation, and you imagine what they would say, and then they kind of just speak to you. And so, in that way, he is kind of like a friend, sort of. You know, he 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 does say things that I would not say, even though I'm sort of saying them for him. I don't know. I guess I'm breaking the fourth wall or something, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, here's me talking about the movie maker. Um, you know, I think commentaries are for a certain kind of person, and I don't mind that you know they won't get a lot of views because the per people that do actually watch it will be the kind of people that really need to see it. I guess um, that's it. Okay, uh, the next commentary I do will actually be on Liquid Episode Two, so it'll be a lot more interesting. Okay, bye bye.